want you to make that as a goal for you because any type of clutter around you is not good. It's distraction. Okay. So again, let's just be clear. Go through each room of your house and then just kind of look around and then just be at ease with giving it away. You don't have to throw it away. You can give it away. And what it, what helps me is this. I say, whatever that item is, like I'll go and I'll touch an item. I'll say, how do I feel about this particular item? Like, is it something that I really want to keep or is it okay to let go? And then once I decide, okay, it's something to let go, then I say, okay, I'm going to gift it to someone. It served me. So now I'm going to let it serve someone else. And so that kind of helps me to then get rid of it. Now, a lot of times what I hear is that people say, okay, I want to sell it. I want to sell it. But understand this, that's just another way for you to hold on to it. Because if you were going to sell it, why haven't you done so, so far? Excuses come into mind, right? Remember, we're getting above, we're getting beyond those excuses. So if that's your excuse, because reasons, excuse, it doesn't matter. But if that's the reason, I want you to understand to really think about that. Oh, well, I paid a lot of money for this. Okay, it you it served this purpose, right? Whatever it is you paid for it, you got your money's worth out of it. Now, wouldn't it be beneficial to let it serve someone else? Like, why do you need to get something back from it? You've already gotten what you needed from that particular item, okay? So keep in mind that we're talking about developing new habits and new thought processes, and this is the thing. By now, if you've been doing exercises, your higher self will help you with this. And I want you to understand that uh, a lot of times when I'm going through this stuff, and sorry I'm jumping around because for me it's intuitive and so it's not um, um, 